Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now, this is a reading for the 2nd of December, 2020. And it is a general reading, so it might not resonate with everybody. It's really important that you take whatever resonates with you. You leave the rest of it aside, especially for this type of reading. Um, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do take a brief moment of your time to click onto the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself, and it would be so greatly appreciated, and I do thank you in advance. That being said, if ever you would like to have your own personal reading, my information is right below into the YouTube description box. You'll find all the information you need right there. Um, so we're going to jump right into this reading. Um, this reading here is a channeled reading. For those of you who don't know yet, I do. Um, I always channel before recording because it takes a certain amount of time and it takes a lot of concentration. So these messages here are messages from your past loved ones that they want to deliver to you. So I'm going to do that. Um, and these are for the sign of Gemini. Very important. These are messages for you. Um, I'm going to conclude it after with an angel message. And at the very ending of the video, I'm going to give you the messages that crossed by as I was, um, as I was giving out these messages as I always do. So let's begin with no further ado. We have focus your mind on what you really want we are helping continue to grow by seeking new knowledge we applaud your efforts believe in yourself you can do it i watch over you every day and i will always point you in the right direction so let's begin over here with focus your mind on what you really want we are helping if you feel stuck right now, it's probably because you don't actually know what you want to do. You need to write down all the possibilities or discuss the options with friends. We feel that you're stuck. We see you. We see that you're not advancing anymore. You don't quite know what to do anymore. The viable options will start to become quite clear to you. Your loved ones are saying, follow your heart and we will guide you along the way, but follow your heart, okay? Very important, it's being very stressed. Moving on over to the following message here is, continue to grow by seeking new knowledge, we applaud your efforts. This is about training, it's about lessons and classes and courses and exams. It's about reading and listening and learning. We never, ever, ever stop growing and even the most educated of us are always learning new things every day. Each of us has our own individual skills and abilities, but we are all unique. Everyone is good at something, so if you're not sure what your skills are, keep looking. Your loved ones are so proud of you. They're proud of your efforts to keep learning and to keep growing. And they say, we support your continued striving to learn new things. We are proud of your growth. And now we're going to move on over to the messages over here. Believe in yourself. You can do it. From my heavenly vantage point, I can see and I can understand everything so much more clearly now. I can see that you and I never had anything to be afraid of. The only thing that was ever standing in our way was fear. Fear about the future, yet now I realize that you and I, we create our own future. So I'm urging you to go forward with all of your heartfelt dreams. Leave nothing to chance. I believe in you because I love you, but also because I can see that nothing is stopping you unless you believe it is. I will be with you every step of the way, guiding you. I know you need to follow your dreams. Listen to your heart. I love you. I watch over you 
every day. Believe me when I tell you that I hear every one of your thoughts and I know all of your life's desires, your goals, your accomplishments. We have such a strong connection that part of my desire here is to watch over you there. Even though I can't take your test for you or interfere with your free will, I am. I am sharing space and I'm always influencing you to do the best that I know you can do. I help bring into your life those important learning opportunities that your soul needs in order to grow. Think of me as your guardian angel. We share life together. I am the light that goes before you, holds your hands and shows you the way. So don't be surprised if a thought about me suddenly comes into your mind, seemingly at random. That is me. I'm standing right next to you and I'm letting you know that I am still with you. And my final message before the angel message, I will always point you in the right direction. Although I'm not God, I'm not an angel, I do have the ability to guide you. Keep in mind that I'm not privy to all-knowing wisdom of the universe. For that, you'd want to consult God, which you can do just by asking for help. However, I do have the benefit of all my earthly lessons, which taught me a lot. I also have a broader perspective on your circumstances from my heavenly vantage point. So you can think of me as a trustworthy confidant whom you can turn to for advice. So please know that I'll do all I can to guide you towards what's best for you. I've learned how to get my own ego out of the way and focus upon helping you and others from a place of pure love. You're going to notice the signs that I send to you through your feelings, through your dreams, and other reminders to think of me. I am always with you. I have never ever left you. As for your angel messages, it is a message of faith. Faith is such a powerful quality that it moves mountains. Angel wisdom reminds you, however, not to have blind faith in people or situations. Use common sense and discernment and never give your power to another. Instead, put your faith in yourself and the higher powers. Pray with integrity from your still wise center and know that your re request will be granted. Act as if it has already manifest, and that is faith. Your angel of guidance is to increase your faith into the infinite. And now, my dear friends Gemini, to move on over to the messages that have crossed through. Um, I have here, I have made it safely to the other side is a message that I'm getting. This is coming from, um, I have a message like this coming from a, a male. I have another one coming from a female. Um, Stop worrying about me, I am fine is another message that I am receiving. Um, and I'm getting a message, I'm getting a message from um, a male. I don't know the whole name. It's very difficult. The first letter is a C. I don't know. I don't know. It starts with a C. I'm not going to guess the other letters. It begins with a C. Um, a male who wants to tell their wife um, that they love, they love them oh so very much. Okay, they love you. Um, they never stopped loving you, and they're by your side all the time. Um, I also have here, I met up with grandma. I met up with um, auntie and um, also with a young, a, a baby maybe who has who has passed. Um, so these are the messages that I'm getting. I'm sorry, this is all I have for you right now. Um, if you do have any 
questions you'd like your own reading uh, romanceful tarot at gmail.com i hope that this was able to bring you some clarity i hope it was able to give you some comfort some love um i wish you much love much joy uh, much comfort many blessings if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe and i will see you tomorrow with new messages